I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Ali and the Imams from his sons are the proofs of Allah. I bear witness that the Mahdi and the Mahdis are the proofs of Allah. Upon this I shall live, upon this I shall die, and upon this I shall be resurrected again. <laughs> We're joined in the studio now with our brother Zygmunt from Poland. How are you doing, brother? Hello, brothers and sisters. I am very excited to give this interview and God bless that I am here and you can hear me. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. We're excited to share your story. So let's get right into it. Tell us about your religious background and your background in general and how you found the call. So I was baptized in Catholic Church in Greece. I was born in Greece uh, as an immigrant from Polish pa parents. And I was baptized in uh, Catholic Church, although my mother is Orthodox uh, Christian. And my Greek friends were Orthodox Christian, but I also went to Orthodox Church and I had a Muslim friend, so from the beginning, religion was for me not something like I would be born in Poland. So everyone here is mostly Catholic, yeah? And uh, I, my parents were mostly, I could say, non-religious. My my home was not, not religious, although sometimes we were talking about God and I remember that when I heard about God and heaven, uh, that this is a place when people go after they die and it is a great place, I thought to myself that, what am I doing here? Like, if this place is even better, like, I want to go there now, yeah? So I have this memory and here I am right now, talking with you on the path to heaven. And I was uh, in Greece, then I moved to Poland in 2008. And here, most people were Catholic. And I was going to church. I had a period of my time when I was the, the guy who was helping the priest uh, during the ceremony and i remember that i messed up something and uh, it, i was so stressed when i was like uh, doing the ceremony stuff and i decided that i should now go to to this uh, let's 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 leave it and uh, although my parents were not religious like my my father was uh, driving me to the to the church and i was uh, i could practice my religion but Always, he was asking me, like, why do you go there, yeah? Why do you go there? Mm -hmm. I was having this contemplation in my head, like, people go to this church, some people believe in other religions, so I was always contemplating and thinking, what's up with this God, and how can I go to the heaven? And, and yes, and later in school, um, we had religion lessons with a noun, and she told something that Jesus wants to take everybody to heaven. He wants to take everybody to heaven and Satan wants to take everybody to hell. So I was like, what a great intention this is. Like, I want to do the same. I, I want to take people to heaven. And although I was not going to church like every Sunday, I was always trying to find the way to take every my every friend every family member everyone basically to heaven like even satan like i was thinking what would if satan could be go back to god mm. if maybe then there would be no evil on the planet so i was even praying for satan to to go back to god and and that, but I guess it's not a wise option because you can go, you cannot serve two masters. So if it's that how it should be, then I don't recommend to do it to anybody to like uh, try to make Satan go to God. Because I personally, I had like 
throughout, throughout my life, uh, like even like mental problems. And I believe that this is like something connected to it that I was trying to somehow say that Satan is not that bad and he can be part of the gods. I don't recommend to do it to anybody. Uh, nevertheless, uh, in one in one period of my life, I started to have dreams that were very interesting dreams. Uh, I had this dream that in the town, uh, in my town, in, in Rabka, in building, uh, there was a room, like, at the, at the back of the building. I, I had a dream that, that I'm in this building. And Mary showed up to me like in in a way that you know when you see people in your dream, this figure of Mary was completely different than anything that I saw in my dream ever. And I saw Mary uh, in this building. So I told this to my friends. We were discussing that I had this in my in my head throughout the life. And then later, someone uh, made a graffiti on this uh, on this building, and the graffiti was Ave Maria, Dea Misericordiae, Spiritus Sanctus Venit Lesus Rex Noster. So this is very big coincidence. Like I can wow. I couldn't ignore this. And later, even I was. Uh, watching audiobooks, listening to audiobooks of Sister Faustina, noun Faust Faustina, it's a Polish noun that had, apparently she had visions of Jesus and Mary. And I saw also a guy who was contemplating if those were really, really visions from God, or maybe there was they were from evil spirits. Mm. So I was contemplating it and I took a break from this audiobook. I uh, tried to call my friend on Messenger and suddenly my phone started to doing crazy stuff on the screen. And then my Messenger broke. It was like an error on the phone. And on the avatar of the Messenger, there was a picture of Mary, like described in, um, in, in Christianity, usually like white dress and and the white hijab, and it just popped out of on my phone. And I looked at it. I was like, "What is going on?" So I wrote back to her, "Bądź błogosławiona," which is like "Be blessed" in in Polish. And I made a screen, and I have the screen to the to this day. So either AI is trying to, is making fun of me or someone is hacking my phone or it's a miracle, it's a miracle. So I, I, I just did the screen. And later I found out that in this call, Mary is a part of this call. The Mary is uh, the mother of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon them. Yes, she is. So amazing story. It's amazing story, and uh, I had also like a dream that in the school at the Friday before Friday, I had the dream that my friend will be fighting with one of my other, with someone from other class, and I went to school on. I told him on Friday, and I went to school school at Monday, and people were were saying. Do you know what happened? Like this guy was fighting with, with this guy and I was listening to them and I don't remember exactly, but it was something like I said, no, 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 it was my dream. They, they didn't fight. And they said, what are you talking about? We have a video. And I, I saw it and I was like, whoa, this was this was prophetic dream, something like this. Yeah. So uh, I, had, I had a lot of things happening in my life that to say that there is no God or to say that we we don't have a purpose or there is no sub supernatural things, it was impossible for, for me throughout all my life. Like basically, even if I tried to, 
to think that God doesn't don't exist, I just couldn't. It was it was too much around me. You can't and, deny that there's a there's a divine design behind everything that was happening in your life. Yes, yes, and and what else? Uh, well, later I was um, contemplating a lot about the religion, and someday I started. Uh, my friend, who who is very big Catholic, he said to watch the movie Passion, I guess, and Passion it's a movie about. Yes, yes. And I watched it. And then I cried after the, the movie. I was like, wow, it's incredible. Now I believe 100%. And the same day, I watched someone on YouTube or in, on internet that is was talking about spiritual things. And it was very wise what he was talking. Like, you know, chakras and everything combined and suddenly when i was like so happy i found it i i, I found like i go to church right now tomorrow or this sunday i'm i'm going full catholic then i i saw this and he said that that, that jesus is a fiction that he don't exist and i was like whoa these two things happened in the same day and i had another like big uh, contemplation about uh, religion so with then in the, i had a period of uh, my life when i was contemplating is jesus even real like maybe there are spiritual stuff but is is it real the jesus and all the prophets peace be upon them and i went to germany to work abroad and i was contemplating it and i went out of the bus and there was an Arab guy sitting on the bus station. And he just looked at me and he said to sit with him, yeah? So I was sitting with him and he was asking me about Allah. And I told him like, yeah, I believe. In Poland we say it book. So I believe that there is a higher power. I just pray that, that the world will be in good place and we were talking and he told me to read the quran and he was talking about the magdi that was the first time i heard the word magdi so i listened to this arab guy telling me to read the quran and he told me that i will go later and i will preach just as he preached. I will go to people and I will teach them uh, Islam. So later in life, a couple of months uh, later, I thought like maybe it's a good time to start reading the Quran. So I started reading it. And I was surprised that Jesus is in the Quran. I was surprised that there is a whole chapter about Mary, yeah. peace be upon them. And I, I started reading it. And I started doing the wudu, like, I, I didn't have any mosque around me or anything. I was just reading in internet and praying in my way, just playing, praying in my way, sometimes bowing, sometimes doing the cross sign, going in nature and also praying. And at the same time, I was born in Greece. And I remember that when we had the Greek gods, I was very interested in the concept of the god of war, like Ares or Mars. I'm not sure if they are the same thing. And so I was having this mixture of everything, going through life, seeking for the god, for the truth. And then I find, found this channel on, on YouTube. I was like thinking about everything and I found uh, Abar Sadiq from Himis Peace. I, I found him talking on YouTube. I, I, he popped up once and I was uh, looking at it. I don't remember if I subscribed from the first time I saw him, but when I looked at the video, I was telling myself that 
this guy knows exactly what's going on. This guy has very big wisdom and I wanted to know more. So I was listening to the channel. Then I saw maybe it's time to see, I was looking, seeing shorts. So I saw like the video has uh, 40 minutes. I was okay, let's, 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 uh, let's see what's in the video. And I was uh, watching more and more. And suddenly I saw, uh, I saw that uh, a video when the information came to me that he is the Magdi. So I was like, now it's everything makes sense right now. I just did, the guy on, told me the Arab guy went through life and found the Mahdi. I just found him. And uh, later I, I thought like, oh, wow, this is, this is uh, very serious stuff. Like uh, when I saw the ceremony of clarification, I saw it and I was, I was like, this is actually happening. This is the end of the world. This is what I was, I was feeling inside me a lot. Like sometimes I was in this dunya and I had these times when I was going like crazy. Like I want God right now. I want to go to heaven. I know there's God has to send me someone to the whole world. And I found him finally. Wow. And later. I, I have a question. Later, I, I, yeah. I must say, brother, that um, I'm really impressed right now with the conversation that we're having because I feel your story is very similar to my story. I'm also a former Catholic. Um, uh, I also was, uh, as a child, one of these uh, kids who, who, who helped the, the priest in the Mass. Um, and I also like, went through a journey in which I doubted everything. <laughs> and uh, also, um, when I came to know about the Dawah, I was also thinking about these other gods and goddesses and what's going on in the world and why I was asking myself, what is all, what's all these stories about? Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to tell us? Why do people believe in this through history? And something that you said made me want to ask you a question, which is basically you said that when you were going to the Mass, and your family was not very practicing Christian, um, but you were going to help the priest with the with the mass. Your dad used to ask you like, "Why are you going?" And uh, um, as a kid, I feel like again this. The, I feel that there has to be something that you have to fa have an answer for that. What is the thing that you would have? If, if you had the mind that you have today, what would you respond to your dad? Why were you going to the mass back in those times? And is that thing that you were looking for, or that thing that you that moved you to go to to help with um, the mass, the thing that also has you here? This is my question. Yes, I would say this is the same thing. It was just trying to do the best thing that I can do to help God. This is the thing I wanted. Like, if someone told me that it is good to help the, the scholar, the priest, then I wanted to do it, even if I, even if it was like waking up early, I wanted to do it because I wanted to serve God, basically. Right. So I'm sure it would be very interesting for the viewers to know this. Uh, for someone who's gone through so many different phases of belief and has seen so many different kinds of religions and delved into different uh, mindsets and schools of thought, after you found the teachings of Abba Sadiq, you seem to have found this relief or this sense of uh, finding what you were looking for. So what is it from his teachings, from his book, from his works that, that caught your attention, that made you convinced, that pivotal moment where you said to yourself, this is why I believe in this religion and in this man? So most of all, I would say that uh, he puts every religion into one in the sense that 
if you are even if you are a Jew, I think what what he says makes sense uh, mm -hmm. even from the perspective of Judaism. Even if you are a Christian, it makes sense from the perspective of Christian, and even if you are a Muslim, and so on and so on. So the the video. The reality of the cruci crucifixion is very interesting. This, like, is something that connects every religion. And yeah, this this uh, video was amazing to see how this one event that sets apart every religion, the free of the most popular. Yeah. Uh, now and. This was uh, the video when I was like, wow, this guy just uh, made the hardest thing in the world that people are... Divided like about. Yes, they are divided about. He made it simple to understand what happened really and that every, every religion has some bit of a truth in it. That's and amazing. There's a lot of videos that he was saying things so clear that after after listening to the videos, you felt that knowledge, you just received knowledge. And also the video about the soul uh, family, the soul family. A lot of people like s saying, you are my sister or you are my brother, soul brother. And he gives like evidence from the scriptures that we have also soul family. Like it is hard to, when you have members of your family that are not the same faith of you. So it is like such a justice that you can find someone who is the same faith and, and be a part of this family. And it's also in the scriptures. So this is also amazing. The knowledge of the of the stars that the souls of the believers are stars, and about the matrix, like basically everything that is very common that people struggle to understand in the reality of and in the religion, he is giving answers to it. So the knowledge is incredible, yeah. And the testament, the testament, the will of Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him and his family. He is mentioned in the will, and that's incredible. What else can I say? God bless your words, brother, because your your testimony of the knowledge of the Qaim Abu Sadiq is is it's a beautiful testimony. You're clearly very impacted by it. It's really reached your heart, and it's the reason for your for your high level of faith and the reason why you support him and you want to actively support him, which I guess brings us to our next question. Yes, um, as somebody who since very young, you were doing like you were taking active steps to to because mm -hmm. Imam Ahmed Al Hassan said that every single person on planet Earth has this innate internal longing to worship God. And as somebody who since you were a child you were like not only having this sense but actively pursuing you know, it. Yeah, acting upon it. Um, now the thing is we have somebody who is like who can prove that he is from God who is calling people for support. Right? So how like how would you explain to the people this idea that okay you have to support God by supporting the messenger of God how would you explain it to the people I will start with this look around look at the world look how many people claim to be the one that to be from the correct religion uh, in the, one of the latest lectures, Akaim, peace be upon him, and peace is from him, he said, we are in a state where mostly, there were never so much Muslims in the world, never so much mosques in the world. What did it do to humanity? Nothing. We have war, wars, we have hunger still. I even thought about a uh, 
joke. Like imagine people coming from the from times before time travel to this uh, to these times, and they see the cars and and the technology, and they ask someone, "We are time travelers. This is incredible. Tell me, how did you manage to get over over wars and over hunger?" And the man is telling them. Actually, we still have wars and hunger, but we went on the moon and we want to fly on Mars. Yeah. And they are looking at each other. Yeah, we go back. It's absurd. So look at... Uh, yes. <laughs> look, at the, look at the state of the world and think the, this someone has to have the, the energy of goodness, the goodness. People are meditating all over the world, looking for peace in the world. And we have to unite. We ha At some point, we cannot say, OK, believe in this, believe in this. We don't care. Let's everybody, let's, let's have different religion. OK, you, everybody can have different religion and faith. This is something that is obvious. But at some point, we can unite under the one banner, and this banner is the black banner that the riser of the family of Mohammed raised in 2015, just after, as the prophecies were saying that it will happen. Yes. And this is the call that everybody should unite under, even if you don't believe, uh, like in our religion. Follow us, talk about us. We have the, we, we want to make uh, heaven on earth, exactly. and I know that even if you are Muslim or even if you are atheist, you you are if you are, if you want to do good to humanity, follow us and even unite under this call. Okay. This is uh, the call that everybody should be united under, no matter what are they faith. And actually, I think that you people that will follow us, they will see one day that this has sense. And the guy that are, is our leader has the Holy Spirit in our in his heart. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, that's what I, what I would say. I, I absolutely love your answer there, Zygmunt. And here's our, I guess here's the, the last question that I would really want to hear the answer of from you. How would you describe that man that you're calling the people towards? How would you describe him to them? Who is Abu Sadiq? I would say that he is a human that reached the top of humanity. Like no one, like he is top, top of humanity. He is the man that can unite all the world. He is the man that is someone who whoever like says whoever wants to be an enemy of his enemy of his intentions of his plans is an enemy of humanity wow he is the man that reached the top of humanity and he is the savior and he is the one that can connect all the religion and all, all the people around the earth. Amazing. Whoever is the enemy of Abu Sadiq is the enemy of humanity. Brilliant, brilliant words. Brother Zygmunt, it was such an absolute pleasure getting uh, to know a bit more about you and hearing these great words from you. You're full of these uh, very, very wise um, opinions and perspectives. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful. Yeah, it's an amazing interview. God bless you, Zygmunt. Thank you, Zygmunt. Alhamdulillah. God bless you.